Well, today we're going to do the Philadelphia Eagles in this series where I predict each NFL team's schedule and predict their record. Um, so Eagles 9-7 last year barely won that division. Lost 17-9 wildcard to Seattle. Drafted Jalen Hurts. Got Darius Slay. Made some pretty questionable moves, but also some good moves. So let's get started with the predictions. Week 1 at the Redskins or whatever their new name will be. I'll give the Eagles a win there. Um, week two, hosting the Rams, I'll give them a win there. I know Philly won't have fans, but I still give them the edge over the Rams. Um, week three versus Cincinnati, I'll give them a win there also. Cincinnati is still a young team rebuilding. Week four at the 49ers Sunday Night Football. 49ers will win that game. Um... I don't really have much to say. I think that the Eagles will struggle in that game. Week 5 at Pittsburgh. It's in Pittsburgh. I'll give Pittsburgh the win there. Um, week 6, hosting the Ravens. I'll give them the win there. Um, I think it will be an upset game for the Eagles, definitely. Um... Ravens are expected to win, but then the Eagles will upset them. Week seven, you host the Giants on Thursday Night Football. I'll give them you. I'll give you a win there in Philly. Even though there will be no fans, I still think that the Eagles can pull it off. Week eight, you host the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. I'll give you a win there. Um, you always seem to beat Dallas and Philly. I don't think that will change this year. Week 10 at the New York Giants. I'll give the Giants a win there. I think that this will be a game that no one really expects the Giants to win. Maybe they'll be competitive, but don't really expect them to win. And then the Giants come in and shock people and win the game. Week 11 at the Cleveland Browns. Hmm, this is a very tough game. I'll give the Browns a win there. I think that the Browns can win this game, a game that they aren't expected to win, but they can win, etc., etc. Week 12, you host the Seahawks. You lost to them twice last year at home. I think you finally get your revenge. I think you will beat the Seattle Seahawks. Week 13 at the Packers. Beat them last year in Green Bay. Green Bay is looking for their revenge. They will beat you. Week 14, you host the Saints. This is a toss-up game. Probably the biggest toss-up game of the season. I'm going to give Philly a win here. I think this is one of those games where the Saints are expected to win. Like last year's game versus us. They're expected to win, but then they come in underperform. And Philly wins. It won't be a blowout win. But... I definitely think it will be a win. Um, week 15 at the Cardinals. Man, I'll I'll give this one to Philly. I, I'll give that one to Philly. Or you know what? It's a very toss-up game that I could see going either way. I'll give it to Arizona. I, I would give it to Philly. But um, and you may say, oh, oh. Well, I really think that the bottom line is I think Arizona will be a good team this year and can beat a team like the Eagles. Week 16 at the Cowboys, I think they'll win that game. Um, the Cowboys will win that game. Needless to say, I think that the Cowboys will improve. As you saw in the video yesterday, I think that they will beat the Eagles because they always do in Dallas. Week 17 at home versus the Redskins, they'll win that game. Um, don't really have much to say about the Redskins. They're not a good team. So, 9-7 and seven for the third straight year for the Philadelphia Eagles, I predict. I actually predict an 8-0 eight at home, eight and oh home record, although, yes, they won't have fans. I, I just see some of these games at home, them not being able to really lose. And then 1-7 and seven on the road, you know, Cleveland could go either way. Arizona could go either way. Pittsburgh could go either way. This game, they should win, but I do expect them to lose. But 9-7 for the Eagles in 2020. Four 
the third straight year. Tomorrow, I will be back with the Washington Redskins. Until then, peace out.